Okay, so today we're going to have a look at um, some UV seams, uh, when they show up and how to uh, fix for them, or you know, in some cases, you know, just erase them completely. So, uh, what I'm going to do here is uh, I've, I've just opened uh, the sample, so file open sample, and I've picked meat mat because you know he's got a very clear seam up his body uh, material. Uh, so we've got this arms and legs, uh, sorry not arms and legs, body and legs uh, island here which has got a very clear seam up the back. Uh, let me just hide the head and the base, whoops, there we go. And then uh, I'll use shift and right mouse to put my light around the back, there we go. Okay, so let us go and find a texture. So I'm going to pick wood out, so this wood rough. I'm going to drag and drop that in and delete that top layer and we can see that there's a very distinct kind of line down the middle here if I switch over to say the height view uh, it's not actually all that clear but you can just about see I hope um, that where the seam is uh, joining together um, it's not the same on both sides so there's not a you know smooth transition um, and it you know, it's just going to show up uh, very unpleasantly. There we go. So we can mitigate that uh, to a certain extent by simply changing the projection to a triplanar projection. And that just changes completely the way the material is projected onto the, uh, onto the model. So instead of just like being flat onto the 2D UV view, it's um, from each side of the model it's projecting the same texture um, and what that then does is simply shifts the seams they're still there it's just uh, we have a new option uh, which is kind of hiding them for us so on the properties layer if I turn this hardness up to one we'll start to see where they are so you'll see it shifted from the center here which is physically kind of denoted by the UV and has moved it to the intersection of the projection and you know now we have more seams um, sort of scattered around it's just that we can adjust this hardness value to smooth them out a little bit so I mean if that's good okay for you then that's perfect you know you might want to you know change your uh, scale perhaps and your um, rotation to get the sort of look you're looking for um, but apart from that you know it's good uh, but there is another way of combining these two different projections together uh, to get a slightly different and I think slightly better result uh, so I will uh, cover that in the next little section okay so Let's have a look. I'm just going to duplicate this layer. So right click and duplicate. And then I'm going to take the bottom layer and put it back to a UV projection map. So of course, at the moment, um, we're seeing the triplanar over the top. And that's fine. Um, but we need to just mix these together such that the seams... Um, that we're getting from this triplanar map um, are taken out. So let's go around the back. There we go. If I add a black mask to this, and then in that black mask go to generator, and the generator I'll pick is UV borders. As I turn that on, you'll notice that down the center here we've got another kind of material. So if I turn that off, you'll see it looks like that. And if I turn it back on again, it looks like that. This is coming from the triplanar uh, projection. So what we need to do uh, just on this is just rotate this round for a moment because our underlying texture is kind of going down and across. And this doesn't look quite right. So I'm just going to rotate it 90 degrees. There we go. I think that looks a little better. So if I turn off the underlying one, you'll see what's happening. 
This is um, basically putting the triplanar projected texture uh, around our UV seams, thus uh, essentially eliminating it. And if I turn that back on again, we should see that actually that looks pretty good. If you wanted to kind of enhance it and break up a little, we could add an additional uh, layer over here. For example, uh, we could just add a paint layer and then uh, switch to a kind of a dirt brush or a mess brush. Uh, let's have a look. So I want quite a light uh, dirt brush. I'm going to turn the mask on so I can clearly see what I'm doing. And then I can paint into it. I just adjust my uh, opacity there a little bit so that it's not too harsh. So that I get a kind of a speckle also, you know, around that edge to, you know, further uh, make it, you know, a little bit more realistic, a little bit more, uh, how can I put it, cohesive, that's the word I'm looking for. You know, you can even go into the black, you know, so that we get an even better you know, look. Okay, I won't go all the way around it because you'll get bored watching me. Uh, but that's essentially what we've got now. And, you know, that has essentially eliminated that seam. <coughs> now, there is one caveat to this, and that is that you will often find that the... Um, the seam will still be there even though you fix the colour part you'll still see a bit of a seam so, and that's when it's time to check your normal map and your height so if we're going to height uh, this one hasn't got a particularly strong height map but I can see that there is still an edge there which is going to show up so what you can do there is on your top layer we can change to the height channel and then change from um, L Dodge to replace. And now it's replaced it with the underlying height. Height and normal, generally speaking, are additive. They kind of build up between layers. Um, so you might just need to have a look and change the uh, the blend mode. Let me uh, go and have a look at them, see if there's a normal map. There isn't and back to material and there we are so just be aware of that you know because i've spent many 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 hours scratching my head you know trying to figure out where is this seam coming from I've, I've painted it i've bashed it i've completely replaced it and it's still there and that's because you know i wasn't looking at the height channels or the normal channels or even the glossy uh, specular or you know whichever ones you're looking at but you're using so it's worth checking all the layers <laughs> especially if it's still persisting so i hope you found that useful um of course you can add layer upon layer on this of other things of dirt and different patterns um but i just wanted to show you that if you weren't doing that you can use this method okay so i will talk to you again in another video